Now, if I want her to go back the other way easily, I at least want this one facing that direction because they don't want to go opposite directions. She likes stopping right there too. Maybe I can get her to go smell the stairs again and start over. I thought I was kidding. <laughs> now here's where I need to get her attention. She's really curious about everything. She wants to come around this end, but she don't want me to be here when she does it. So I'll see if I can step this one up. She's addicted. We'll just let her have that one. I think it's funny they walk till they get their head right to the end of that panel and then quit. Like they feel safer. That's probably not far enough around, girl. Once again, you get into a little chess game here. This is the fun part to me. Y'all probably think it's boring, but it's kind of fun to me to try to figure out if I can step to this side and turn her. Stop her. Don't you do it. Hard-headed. I know a girl at home just like her. Like I said, these cattle that are a little gentle, sometimes are much crankier to deal with. I just want you to move a little bit. All right, now we're gonna do the parking thing again, but we're gonna do it different. Talk about how to bring one up here and open the gate. And I appreciate my colleagues putting the gate on the audience side, Rick. I appreciate that. All right. This one's just obnoxious. She's not wild. In fact, she's gentle enough that she's starting to push on me a little bit. So I'm going to step into her a little harder. Let her know that she's not necessarily in charge, which she probably is, but I'm gonna try to keep her from thinking that. Now what I wanna do is get her far enough away from the gate to where I can bring her and face the gate and get her ready to come in before I go open the gate. You are such a little putt. <laughs> she doesn't care if I draw one an eye or not. That's, she's got another set of stairs to go check out. <laughs> Don't do it, you little rascal. Now this is where if you have one that does this, if you have the time, don't let them get away with this. She would just as soon not listen to me. Again, I probably should have got her up a step more. And once she's parked, if everything worked like it's supposed to, but who knows? Let 
You can get them stopped, open your gate, and put one of them in. <laughs> She's going to resist to the last minute, isn't she? All right. Now that if you had some cattle in a corral, and with two it's going to be real easy to do, but y'all, which one of them do you want sorted out first? Smaller one? Well, that's cheating. She's already facing the right direction. What I want, I'm going to turn her around a little bit. So what I want to demonstrate is how to use another one to reposition them. Now I want to take this one and push her. That's where taking and pushing on an eye. I can send her behind that heifer. Then I'm in position to move her out. I can move up her side and stop the other one. So if I'd tried to do that in the wrong order, I would have been out of position to stop the other one. But by being able to move in on that one's side, as that first one started, I'm already going with the motion, so it stops the second one. Only if they're trained to stop. Otherwise, that one just runs over me and out the gate. Now then, to get her to come out, and this is something a lot of people do when they're emptying corrals, is to go behind them. I always work one of these to where you're working from the front, step to the side, release her, she'll come out. Don't go behind them. Stay in front where they can communicate and you can draw the cattle to you. Now if you ever see a diagram that's published, it's going to have the flight zone, it's got a big circle around it. It says if you enter the flight zone, they're going to leave, move away from you, right? That circle can change. There's another line always drawn on those diagrams that says point of balance. Where is it located? Right dead center in the shoulder, right? It says if you're in front of the shoulder, they're going to move away from you. If you're behind that point on the shoulder, they're going to move forward. Did I ever get behind that heifer's shoulder? So you can change the point of balance. It's all about the eye. It has nothing to do with the shoulder. And that makes sorting so much easier. If you're out in front of the cattle where you can control who goes and who starts, you can release one. John, that's what you're talking about coming into that zig. You can stop them, you can step aside, let that one come by, you can stop the next one. That's the whole process of sorting and evaluating cattle. Doesn't matter if you're doing it large scale or small scale. Control that flow where you can stop them, evaluate what you have and go on. Whether you're sorting on sex, size, weight, condition, whatever it might be. But teaching them, and that's the, if you have wilder cattle, it's easier to show how you can change that. And yesterday we had some cattle that really were sticky. When one of them went, they all wanted to go. And I didn't work with them long enough. That's the bad thing about doing demos. You don't take the time to do what really needs to be done sometimes. But those cattle needed to just be able to go past me through gates or down an alleyway until they got comfortable doing it instead of rushing that process. And so that's where it takes time outside. This little deal works good where you can start them, stop them, walk down their side, draw them to you. And if you'll notice, the more I stopped them, I got to where I could start them from further out in front. All I had to do is move a little bit. If you work cattle on a horse, you can actually take and tip the horse's nose down their side and send them forward. So if you've got a horse that's pretty supple, you're standing beside cattle, you can just turn his head down their side and they'll go forward. It's really interesting to watch. When you slow down and get measured in your response, things get easier working with cattle. Is Bruce still here or did he go elsewhere? 